Now, as some parents head back to work, kids are settling into summer. But what safety precautions do daycares, camps, and summer programs have in place to keep people safe? 7 Action News reporter Andrea Isom shows us how one youth boxing program is ready to reopen despite doing things a little differently these days. If you have been inside the downtown boxing gym or seen the many stories we've done about this now internationally known facility for kids, then you know how big and open it is. Well, because of COVID-19, they've had to make some really big changes. And since we are dealing with a pandemic, that is a good thing. Before I go in or anyone goes into this building whatsoever, we have to get our temps checked first. And it must be under 100. Pretty good. Then everyone is asked a series of questions about your health, your travel, and your exposure. Any close contact with anyone with COVID-19 in the last 14 days? No. Okay, you're all set. Thank you. Thank you. Isn't that thorough? We went above and beyond so that we could get our little kiddos back in the building. So. Jessica Hauser is the executive director of DBG, and she is super duper proud of the tremendous transitions they have made in this massive space. Masks are mandatory. We put in hand washing stations and hand sanitation stations, the six feet social distancing signs, that all have riddles on them, plexiglass everywhere. We have the kids in cohorts. We reworked our entrance and exit. Our vans all have plexiglass. Um, we're doing most of our programming outdoors. So our kids are on rotating days. There's A days and B days. And when they're not physically here, we are still offering the virtual component so that everybody can still feel part of the program. The classrooms have all been reworked so that the desks are six feet apart. There's safe areas throughout the building where if kids just need like 10 seconds to take their mask off. Touchless water bottle, filling stations, every kid has their own water bottle and the fixtures in the bathrooms are touchless too and only a couple of children are allowed in at a time our kitchen and food is we're still serving breakfast lunch and dinner throughout the summer but it's only being served by one person and who doesn't like snacks well the goodies are still up for grabs sort of we pass out the snacks they're not allowed to touch it Akela is a helper at the downtown boxing gym but she is also a student and the changes are extremely reassuring to her as well. The staff got input from moms and dads during this process and they are pleased. The parents feel very good about it because they know their kids are safe. Family is one of our core values and we needed to stay tight and connected the whole time. I know we have given you a really good look at all the changes they have made here at the downtown boxing gym, but if you want to see every single nook and cranny of their plan, well, you can go to our website, WXYZ.com and maybe it'll give you some ideas too. In Detroit, I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News. Wow, nice to see kids involved and that they're keeping them safe with do, all of the changes, right? Doing what they have to do, right, to be able to move forward. Good thing. Sure.